This is for students. Summer break is almost here. And while it is a time to relax, you don't want your kids to become victim of the summer melt here to explain and tell us what that means is Philip Green, director of student success at the Alabama Community College System. What is summer melt? What does that mean? Yeah, so it's really uh, something that you see at two year, four year public private, but it's really when a student applies, is accepted to college or university. Um, and then when the first day of class comes, they're, they're not there, they don't show up. <laughs> so it could have been that they registered and then don't show up, um, could have, you know, had 10 visits over the, over the course of the year, but just don't show up on that first day of class. So it's really something that, you know, a lot of institutions struggle with. So, but yeah. What is something the parents, any sort of caretakers, grandparents yeah. can do to make sure their kid shows up? Absolutely. And that they're just mentally ready to take yeah. that next step. Yeah. So really, um, you know, parents, guardians, students can really planning ahead is really the big piece of that because, you know, uh, transitioning from high school or from wherever they previously were into the higher ed setting, there's a lot to do. You know, there's accounts set up, there's FAFSA, there's um, all these different pieces of orientation, especially if it's your first time, it's a lot. So planning ahead can really eliminate some of that stress that you may have, but also, um, you know, doing that visit, visit the campus over the summer to kind of get your, get your bearings right. So that's really a big piece because, you know, if the student doesn't enroll um, or waits till the last minute, that's really, you know, something that can deter them from their goals. So that's really something that they can do to get ahead of that piece. So yeah. You mentioned visiting the campus, maybe yeah. doing just a little drive by mm -hmm. during the summertime. What else can you do to keep those kids motivated, get them excited? Sure. Yeah, there's, you know, there's uh, ACT prep camps that, you know, that are offered pretty widely across the state. Um, a lot of, you know, local colleges, universities have STEM camps. I feel like those have really boomed lately, you know, whether it's STEM, coding, uh, performing arts. So um, local theaters, your local college, community college, a lot of those have those opportunities to where students can stay engaged and kind of keep that mind sharp over the summer. I'm glad yeah. you mentioned briefly making sure you have everything in line with the financial aid situation because mm -hmm. there's a lot going on in it the financial is. aid world right now. Tell us a little bit about that. What's the latest? Sure. So um, the FAFSA, the free application for federal student aid, that is something it's kind of become synonymous with student loans, but there is a lot more to it than that. Um, you know, students can be considered for work study, which allows them to work and, and get paid while they're going to school. Um, it allows grants. A lot of institutions use it just to see if a student's eligible for institutional grants. So like those um, those campus scholarships that are available. So um, really, we're, everybody's kind of in the same boat, you know, with, with this rollout that's intended to make everything easier and going forward, it w the process will be easier. Um, but that's something that we're, you know, our, our colleges are doing the best they can to get that communication out to students, um, to let them know that we're aware of these barriers, but our colleges are doing, um, you know, FAFSA Fridays to where they're available to help those students with that, um, and especially just, you know, coming to campus to, to walk through that process. Because again, you are providing a lot of personal information through that process, so it can be intimidating, but our colleges wanna make sure that it's a seamless process for those students. So um, yeah, that's, that's really kind of what they're doing to engage those students. And we've got communication going out to them um, at the college level, and then we have some from the system side too. If parents so. are at home and they're frustrated, students may be a little frustrated or, or they just have questions, they have some concerns, who do they yeah. need to reach out to? Absolutely. If they go to um, accs.edu, they're able to see pretty much all of our colleges and then their information is on there. They can click that, find the one that's closest to them. They're able to reach out and again, the, our campuses are more than happy to help walk through that process and help them. And if parents need some ideas or students need some ideas to avoid the summer melt, where can they go? How can they get some help with that too? Yeah, certainly. Even, you know, just, just the colleges. There's a lot of the college websites. They have some career prep um, opportunities to where they can do like a resume builder, opportunities to kind of explore their interests. So um, that's something they can do from home. It's on the websites. Um, but also, you know, as that time comes around, there's short programs that the colleges offer. If they're like, I don't want to commit to four years, being cost conscious, there's a lot of ways that they can explore those through those websites some too. Some short time term options absolutely as well. yeah Philip with the Alabama Community College system thanks so much for joining us yeah, here in Alabama you. Live we appreciate it absolutely thank you